The point was I spent the, 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 the last two years of World War II, I spent at the British Bomber Command. I was working for the bombing campaign, uh, bombing of Germany as a scientist. And I saw what would you call now an intelligent, intelligence analyst. So I was sitting in an office at the headquarters of Bomber Command collecting information. That was my job. And, and so I had a very clear view of the bombing campaign. But I knew much more about what was really happening than the politicians who were running it, or the, of course, the, the boys who were flying the airplanes who were getting killed in big numbers. So I had this view of that campaign, which was a total tragedy from every point of view. It, it, it killed a huge number of Germans, of course, mostly women and children, and, and at the same time killed a lot of our young boys who were flying the airplanes and did very little real military damage to the Germans. And it, it had a, v a very small effect on the war until the last few, few, few months. And, and um, so it was, I got this very strong, st strong view of war as its worst in a way. I mean, it was just a, 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 a very brutal campaign, which in the end, ruined huge numbers of lives and had very little effect on history. And, and anyhow, uh, so I was thinking this is something I might write a book about to show the public how f futile it was. But then after that, I just a few years after my time at Bomber Command, I read Slaughterhouse-Five which was written by Kurt Vonnegut. And he was, uh, the slaughterhouse is a place in Dresden, in Germany, where he was actually a prisoner of war. He had been a soldier and then ended up in a prison camp in Germany. And they moved the prisoners into this slaughterhouse, which was just a place where the animals were slaughtered which was used for holding prisoners. And, and so he was there in the slaughterhouse when Dresden was bombed and actually saw it happen. And of course, the Dresden attack was one of the most destructive. They had a big firestorm and the whole city was blazing in a, in a very intense fire. And it was in fact the most destructive of all the bombing attacks on Germany. Something like 100,000 people died. And he survived. And, and But the, afterwards, he wrote this book in which the destruction of Dresden is the, the, the sort of the, the cent, central event. So I felt after I read that book, I didn't need to write it myself. It was already written. and. And it does give a, a very dramatic view of what bombing really means. And 